welcome the last word.
All right. Y'all having fun out there yet? Oh, I do. I never drink these, but I figured just for tonight, I'll do the old vodka and cranberry. All right. Man, I'll tell you what, so all night, I've been talking to different folks and everybody's been telling me how, uh, how right I am for being the guy to be singing these songs tonight. And I said, well, it's funny you say that because I stole all my shit from Johnny Neal. <laughs> I don't think a lot, of, a lot of stories tonight, but one thing Johnny was was an incredible teacher. And uh, I had the opportunity to come down and do a record with him, with my first band. It was our first record, and it was terrible. Uh, but he uh, produced the record for us, and, and you know, the best thing I got out of that was just getting to spend so much time with him and learn from him in the studio and learn all of his tricks on the organ. And he taught me how to stop playing on, <laughs> too much all the time. And uh, and man, he taught me everything about. Uh, about singing stuff, and, and uh, I'm gonna do my best to sing these songs the best I can, like him. <coughs> Thankfully, I'm too nervous to get emotional. <laughs> All right, look how many we got five of y'all over there, right? All right. All right. Thank you. 
How about these girls, everybody? I lost my place there listening to you. <laughs> All right. Man, this is one of my favorites. And he liked the girls up top. He'd call out for them, wouldn't he, honey? Yeah, he would. He'd say, oh, let me hear that. Let me hear that, girls. Thank you. 
man. I'm living out a little personal dream right now here, folks. I used to have a band in Baltimore, and when we got a hold of the Coming At You CD, it was over. Every day, we were listening to that CD, and then we learned all the songs from the CD. And then we tried to find a way to get in touch with Johnny Neal so we could play with him and play the songs from the CD. So weird to be, I was listening to that shit, what, 10, 15 years ago, and now I'm here on stage playing it with you guys, man. This is amazing. I think, uh, Next song we're about to do is one of my favorites Johnny did. My favorite part about going to see Johnny, I love seeing him with the band, but personally as a keyboard player and a songwriter, I, my favorite part was going to see Johnny do shows by himself. Because he never did the same song the same way, twice. And he'd sit up there and every time a new part of the song would come around, I'd be like, all right, let's see what he reharmonizes it with the night. He'd do songs that were in major keys and minor keys. He'd throw Beatles songs and chord changes in there and everything. That man, that man had an unparalleled talent for just making up shit on the spot. He'd do that shit with the band too and just leave everybody high and dry. <laughs> All right.
Just a statue of a man And I'm a Oh yeah Just running out of sand